Welcome back to the Health Edition of Talk Television. I'm Emma Roskowski talking today with Michael Shuba from Continental Hair. We're talking about hair replacement for alopecia, chemotherapy, or just for the pure fashion of it. Let's get to Angela next from Toronto. Hi there, Angela. Hello. Okay, go ahead. You're on the air with Michael. Thank you. Um, I have history of alopecia areata. Okay. And more recently, in the last few months, a lot of hair thinning, like a, a, quite a severe amount of hair thinning. Um, and my c question is, I have a couple questions, but the first question is, what would you recommend? Um, because I still have a lot of my hair. It's very long and naturally curly, although um, it's thinned out a great deal in the last few months. So would extensions, the natural extensions, be more recommended for something like this? Because there's no um, alopecia areata right now. It's not in certain does spots. It, does it come and go, Angela? Um, well, it kind of stayed dormant for about five, six years. And okay. just now, all of a sudden, it came back this way, where it's thinning all over the head, throughout the head. But you said you've got long and curly hair. Can you see, can you see your scalp? Is it that thin, or is it just thinner than what it was? A lot thinner. So, yes, yeah, at certain times, yeah, you can see the scalp more. Okay. Yeah, but it's not areata. It is uh, more diffuse. It's not patches. It's more diffuse. Uh, right. Okay. But the patches were, I had history of patches. Oh, but they haven't come back. It's just, uh, uh, it's just a more diffuse type of thinning now. Right. Okay. I would probably suggest that you stay away from extensions. Mm -hmm. um, if your hair is very fine and thin, uh, it might not be able to take the weight of uh, a regular extension. Uh, the only type of extension that I would uh, uh, recommend is uh, one that's not made with natural hair, actually. It's made with a, a lightweight synthetic. Uh, it's something like this here, and it doesn't use any glue. It basically has its own little bead right on top, and we pull a little bit of your own hair through that. We crimp it, uh, and it stays on for a couple months. Can you do that with synthetic hair, or can you do that with natural hair, too? Can't do it with natural hair, I'm afraid. Why? Uh, these only come in uh, uh, the, the synthetic hair, but it is a high-heat synthetic. You can still use a curling iron with one of these, uh, with a set of these. Uh, you can still use a hot blow dryer. You can curl them. You can straighten them. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not difficult to do. They act just like real hair. It's quite, uh, they're quite lovely. Um, but they're lightweight, and they don't use any glue. However, they are an extension. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is you can't put them on top. So um, you can only put them in the area from here down. Um, so if you want to have, again, that coverage on the top, you're going to have to go with some sort of partial. Uh, if your hair is really curly, there's no problem getting something that's human hair and then having it permed to match uh, uh, the wave that you have now. Okay. Okay. Would I have to cut my hair now? Because it's quite long. It's fairly long down my back. Oh, well, no, you don't. Uh, it'll blend in nicely. Uh, the, the only problem is with the longer hair, there is a more, uh, uh, it's a greater expense, of course, with the, uh, with the length. Uh, but you can certainly get it. Would the partial be of uh, natural human hair or synthetic? Oh, it would be natural, absolutely. And would you work if um, I had my own natural hair? available would you uh do work that way as well oh you mean if you gave me hair you know that you that that you'd brushed out or that you'd cut hair that's been cut from the past uh not usually i, I mean it's not so, I, I don't want to, to to say no absolutely i could probably integrate some of it in there but really we don't usually do that uh, the reason being we have to make sure that we know which end is up. We have to, there's all sorts of other things that have to go into it. We probably have to still order a lot more hair anyway. So the, the upside, there, there's very little upside to something like that. Okay, because I have a piece that's exactly the same as you brought in the example that you have there. Oh, really? Okay. And what type of hair is it? Natural human hair. It's my own hair from the past. Well, I'd love to see it. Absolutely. Uh, and if I, can, if I can integrate it. Of course, you're going to lose a couple inches if we do that. Uh, because, of course, you, when, when we take that hair out and we want to but move it in. But you're open to the idea of taking a look at it. Oh, absolutely. And okay. this is something that, uh, that, that uh, uh, we can do, and it's not, not something that a lot of places can do. No. Okay, wonderful. Thanks for your call, Angela. We're going to get to uh, Corin next from Toronto. Hi, Corin. Hi, how are you? I'm well. How can we help you today? Um, I had a couple of questions about my own hair. Um, now, um, at the top and at the sides, it's uh, from putting it up all my life. Um, I've lost hair. Um, now, I went to a hairdresser about a year ago, and she used four different colors in my hair, and did not, well, partially, partially of that, I did not ask for. And what happened is now she cut it, and she cut extremely short. 
And I had an operation done. I had a hysterectomy, so I've had, um, I have no parts, so I'm in menopause. Now I find it's not growing. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything I can do for the sides? Like, I've had extensions, I've had, and I never got pleased with them because they fell out. So, and I didn't know how to put them back in myself, so I, I don't know. Okay, if wait, I want to, I, I want to parse a couple of things out here. Okay. So you, you've had, your hair has been damaged by some coloring. That's right. You had it cut very, very short, but you've had a surgical menopause. That's right. Okay, so how old are you, Corin? 27. You're 27, all right. So what you're finding then is your hair is extremely short, it's now damaged, and your hair isn't growing, or is it thin? It's, um, actually, it's thin where I've had the ponytail, but on the top it's very thick, because I've had very thick hair all my life. You've had thick hair all your life. So yes. where is it thin? On the sides, did you say? On the sides and at the back where I've always kept a, my ponytail. Okay. It's thinned it out. Okay. But, well, I mean, without seeing her, do you have an idea? It sounds to me that her hair could use a rest, especially yeah. if it's been chemically treated like that uh, and she had some uh, uh, thinning or breakage afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems that she's been doing a lot with her hair and having a lot of fun with her hair, but also having some, some damage done yeah. to her hair. Uh, so I would, uh, I would suggest that uh, she try and uh, do as little as possible uh, and see what, uh, what happens. What happens. What's going on with her body hormonally right now, um, you know, you can never tell. Yeah. Uh, it can settle down, things can start happening properly. Um, and and can I just ask you, Corin, when did you have your surgery? I've ha I had it uh, March 16th of last year. Okay, so it's been a year. All yes. right. And and do you feel all the usual side effects of menopause? You're getting hot flashes and... Oh, yes, a yes. lot. <laughs> okay, and there is thinning that happens once you lose the female hormone. So are you taking hormone replacement therapy? Is that a part of your regime? Yes. Okay, so the advice is she should just lay low for another six Should months. I stop wearing it up as well? Well, if that's cause, if, if you feel that that's causing you some damage, yeah. yes, I would, I would definitely try. And especially if you've got enough hair on top to blend in, I would suggest maybe getting uh, some sort of uh, uh, hairstyle that accentuates a, a, a look that is it, that you can leave down and be comfortable with that. And okay. just give your hair a little bit of a rest. I don't think you have to panic and start doing a lot of stuff right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your call. Thank Karen. you. Okay, okay, we're going to take another quick break here on Talk Television and be back with more of your calls in just a couple of minutes.